Good day, good people. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about PHP 7 namespaces. Well, imagine you are writing a program and as the program gets bigger, or even if you work with other developers, it may be the case that the classes you are using already exist so that you need to go put very long class names in your program uh, to differentiate it from other class names. And well, this is a significant issue when working on bigger projects. So you have to put very long class names and stuff. Or what if you want to use a database class and this already exists? Well, namespaces are there to help you. So I will show you now how you can create namespaces and how you can use them in your code. Let's go. That's the definition, a namespace is like a pointer to a file path where you can find the source of the function you are working with. So it's basically useful for functions and object-oriented programming. Well, you use them to keep your function separate from anyone else's function name. So you don't have to make extra long named functions to get around that name collision problem. Name collision is just when a name, for example, for a variable, but in this case for a function already exists. That's all there is. So, you use it to help you prevent accidentally redefining something like a class that already exists and uh, you avoid having long class names and constants, classes, interfaces, traits and functions are affected and you can put sub namespaces. Enough talk, let's see this in practice. Okay, wait, this is too early. There we go. Okay, so we have the code here. So we have two files because basically that's how you can show how that works. So imagine that you want to create a class named holiday. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a class with the name holiday. By convention, you put the curly brackets in the next line. Here is your class, okay? We have actually not started with object-oriented programming in this tutorial series yet, but um, basically you can see the basics here, okay? But we will, we will get to this once again. So we have a class holiday, easy so far, all right? Within this class, there is a function, a public function, and we call it, uh, why not, check day, okay? This checks the day, it takes a variable called check day and all this function does is it echoes out that this day is a holiday. Okay, that's all it does. So check day is a holiday. Obviously in real life this doesn't make much sense because whatever day I'm giving this function, it prints out that it is a holiday, but that doesn't matter now. Okay. So imagine that the class holiday somewhere in the big project you are working on already exists, but you still want to call it holiday. You don't want to go ahead and call it holiday checker, or if that even exists, holiday checker class from fill and so on. Okay, this is not very handy. You want to call it class holiday. And in this environment, you can do that by defining a namespace. Well, the definition of the namespace always goes in the very first line of the PHP file. By convention, use only one namespace per file. All right. And easy, we have the keyword namespace. And let's call it calendar. All righty. So you can call it holiday now, but obviously you will always have to refer to this namespace. Now, how would you do that? Well, that's pretty easy. Here, first of all, you include the file you have been working with, okay? And it's namespace.php in this case. So when you included that file, you have to use, well, no, 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 let's not start with that. That comes later, okay? So. Now you want to create an object. All right, let's save that first here, still nothing. And now let's create a new object. So for example, recreate Sunday and this is a new, how we call it? Holiday. Makes sense. Okay. 
So Sunday is a new holiday object from the class, oh, excuse me, from the class um, that we created here, okay? Still, there we have an error, error because the class holiday was not found, okay? Well, obviously the class holiday is not found. We included namespace PHP, but that is not enough because we have also be, to be referring to calendar. So what we could do here is to do the following calendar backslash holiday and the error disappears. And this is how you would refer to a namespace. We included the file and we, we told our file here, well, PHP, please go ahead and make Sunday a new holiday object in names namespace calendar. All right. So now if we want to call the function that we created here uh, that checks the day, then we go ahead and echo out. Well, we don't have to echo it out. We can just call it by calling it Sunday. Then we put this, the minus greater than sign. And then we call the function which name is check day. Okay. Check day. Here we go. Now, guess what happens? Exactly. We have a fatal error because first of all, we didn't pass an argument. So what do we do here? We pass the argument Sunday, the string, because why not? And there we go. Sunday is a holiday. Okay. Again, this is important that here, when you create the new object from the class holiday, you see the definition, it has to be the namespace and also afterwards, well, you can, you can continue as usual. All right. Now this is important, but what if you didn't want to put this all the time because remember every time you create an object from this class you would have to put calendar well there's a solution for that too because you can just say that uh, the namespace should be used all the time okay so you use calendar namespace for the holiday class and put a semicolon that's all there is okay calendar's the namespace holiday is the class and that's all you would have to do. Now you can erase this here because it's implicitly, you know, it's explicitly used for whatever you do. You see still someday is a holiday. Okay. That's pretty much all there is to know for the moment. Well, there is a note in the end that I wanted to tell you about. And it says that namespaces are not equivalent to classes where well, we just saw that. Okay. That's not the class, but it's an execution environment in which classes, traits, functions, constants, and interfaces are defined and protected from naming collisions from a different environment. So again, if you were to use a framework, for example, or if you work on bigger projects, using namespaces might come in very handy for you because well, because of name collisioning, that's pretty much all there is. And well, yeah, remember the rules, the namespace has always to be defined in the very first line of your file. And there should always be one namespace. You can also nest namespaces. You could also call a namespace calendar holiday check or whatever. So you can go as deep as you want, like in folder structures on your computer. Okay. Well, and once it's defined, you can use it in all other files with a backslash like we did here. Okay, people, I hope this was helpful. We will go to object oriented programming soon to, um, well, to get even deeper into this subject. I wish you a good day and I'll see you in the next tutorial.